These guys are working, you know, miles and miles away from shore. They're out in the open ocean, and there's it's really hard to understand what's happening on board the boat, and particularly if they're getting bycatch, if they're catching turtles or sharks. And so one way to solve that problem is to put a human observer on board the vessel. Looking into the future, one approach would be to use cameras instead, um, and that's great because it's a scalable solution. Cameras are a one-time cost, it's relatively easy to install them on a boat, there's not a bunch of logistical problems. But what you run into there is that you have a ton of information, you have a ton of data flowing off that boat in terms of pictures or video that the, the cameras are taking. So the Nature Conservancy is interested in applying machine learning and artificial intelligence to the video review process. And the way to do that is to run a challenge. We'll put up a certain amount of money, a prize purse, and ask uh, data scientists to look at all of this video and derive algorithms or produce algorithms that can predict with a high amount of accuracy when fish are being caught and what types of fish are being caught. The Nature Conservancy sees itself as an early investor in technologies that have the potential to have a big impact on conservation. We're providing the incentive for other actors, smart people that understand machine learning to apply their skills to this industry where they may not have that incentive otherwise. In five years, you could imagine that we have a majority of the fishing vessels out there using camera systems because the technology is so cheap and the review process is so efficient. With the data that we're getting on this project, it creates some level of accountability in the fishing fleets and gives consumers assurances that the fish that they're eating has been uh, caught sustainably.